What's up guys? Welcome to my channel Guidezoid. So as you can see, I got my game in the PlayStation here. I'll close the lid. Now we can take a look at the screen. And it's showing there is no data. So in, a, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to pretty easily fix this problem. And I'll say it fixes it about 80% of the time. So let's go take the PlayStation in the other room and see what we could do. Alright guys, so we got our PlayStation here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start by flipping it over. And as you're going to see, you're going to always have uh, six pieces that you got to take off. Four in the corners and two on each side. And then you're always going to usually have a security seal right there. It's either going to be a square or a rectangle. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our pocket knife. And I, I'd say the best thing to do is always just kind of cut around where the little piece is. You can normally kind of feel for it, kind of cut where it's at. And we're just going to cut along the little square right there. That's why I recommend having a pocket knife. Alright, so we're just going to try to cut around that. Like that. And then we're going to just... That way we can kind of just take it off. And then we're just going to go ahead and take off all six of the side corner pieces. and The one on the sides. Like that. Okay. Alright guys, so after we take off our little pieces there, we're just going to take our Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to take out all the screws in here. All right, so take out all these screws. Then a lot of times you buy these PlayStations for parts on eBay or something. Then a lot of times they're gonna be missing screws and stuff. But this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. It got all the pieces and all the screws. Okay. Might take a little while. Okay, take all the screws out. Alright guys, so after we take all our screws out, we're just going to go ahead and flip it back over. And now we're just going to go ahead and pry off the top. And as you're going to see, you got like, um, you can see where it pries open at. So you want to kind of just take it off right there. Kind of pry it open. Alright guys, so we're in our PlayStation now. And normally the no data issue is caused by a sensor, which will be in this area right here next to that screw. You're going to always have like a little button. You can see, you can feel it. And a lot of times on the uh, cover, on the top part of the case, there's normally like a little um, piece at the top that hits down on that button. But a lot of times it'll happen to be broken. So it's not going to hit that sensor, but that's not the only sensor because you're always going to have a sensor on top of this power button right here, but that's usually never affected. It's usually always this back one. It, um, that's what usually always causes the no data issue. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our duct tape. We're going to tear off a little piece. Always try to get... I'd say about somewhere right here. Tear off that piece like that. You want about maybe like this size like that. And we're gonna fold, fold it up. Always try to make maybe like a little square. Something like that. And all we're gonna do guys, we're just gonna put that piece over where that little sensor is that way 
It pushes down on it. So what I recommend doing, guys, before you put the uh, top case back on and screw it in, I recommend go, go and try it like this. And you can put your disc on. And when you try it out, you want to press down this power button and this back button. Well, you're not going to have to press it because you got the tape on it. But just press down like this power button and see if it spins the disc. Because it's still going to work without the top case on. So try it out before you put all your screws back in and stuff. So if it spins, you know that was the issue. So you could just go ahead and put the top piece back on. So I do recommend doing that before putting all that back on. How about we just go try it, see if it works. All right, guys, so we got our PlayStation plugged in. So we're gonna turn on that power button. And let's put our game back on. All right, so we're gonna just hold down this top sensor right there. And look, guys, as you can see, it's starting to turn. All right, so it's turning. Let's look at our screen here and see what it does. And it looks like it's reading it, guys. Boom. So it's reading the game. So all we're gonna go ahead and do is just take, got our game and all that, take it off. And now we know it works. So we could go ahead and just put our top back on and screw all the pieces in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got our PlayStation back here and we're just gonna go ahead and screw this tab back on. Kind of just place it on like that. Kind of press down all around the sides. Now I just go back on and flip it over. Do just like we did when we took the screws out. We're just gonna go ahead and put them all back in. So as you can see, the tape method, well I call this the tape method, um, a lot of times it will work. Like I said earlier on, I'd say it fixes it about 80% of the time. Um, I mean, you might find other videos on YouTube that are showing you like to flip the PlayStation upside down and uh, maybe like putting a book or something on top. And yeah, guys, that might work for a little while, but this will fix it for the longer term, if that is the issue. Because I did have PlayStations before that where this tape method did not work. So that would make it like a deeper issue. And if it's a deeper issue, guys, I wouldn't even just waste your time on it. Because it's likely going to cost you more money to fix that. And it's going to not be worth your time just to keep the PlayStation if that's the issue. I mean, that's my recommendation, but it's always up to you. So, yeah, if it's like this, um, if that's the problem with the sensor, it's a good deal because it's an easy fix, like you just saw. So, I mean, a lot of times, guys... You can find these PlayStations for pretty cheap on eBay. And people are selling it for parts and they're saying it has a no data issue. So, I mean, hey, I mean, if you could get a good deal on it, get it for cheap, you could probably try to fix it like this. And a lot of times this will be the issue that's causing the no data message. So, I mean, hey, you could get yourself a good deal. So, we're going to just put our little pieces back on. Okay. And when I put this one back on, I try to line it back up like it was. That way the, uh, the letters line up again. Like when I took it off. Alright, like that. Okay. That way it looks cleaner. Kind of looks like it's still on there, you know. Put this back on. All right, guys. So that's about it. I hope this video helped you guys. And hopefully it fixes your no data problem. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future. 
I will try to be making videos for the long term. Thanks for watching. Peace out.